Hello, Tov. Rashi points out in this week's parsha, he says, "Show me when you saw how when the Jewish people heard the Torah that we read last week's parsha of Kitavo, the ninety-two sukim of doom, a riku b'neiam shall be soiled." The blood drained from their face. And they said, how will we survive such a thing? So Moshe reassures them. He says, you see, Atem Nitzavim Ayom Kuchem Nitzay Hashem Olkechem. You see that the Jewish people are here. So there are uh, a number of issues that the Mephorshim raised. First of all, Moshe is before the Tokhacha happens. This Parsha of Atem Nitzodin happens before the Tokhacha happens in the Jewish people. That was just the Nehua of Moshe. Moshe told them what was going to happen, but they hadn't experienced it yet. So therefore, the fact that you're all here today, that does not indicate what will be after the Tokhacha happens. That's one issue that the portion raised. The second issue, which is maybe even more fundamental, it goes to the heart of the matter for each and every individual, is that uh, the survival is a wonderful thing, but it doesn't change what happens. So how is the fact that somehow the Jewish people survived supposed to be a comfort for what happened? That we have that in our generation from the time that people said that the state of Israel was the comfort for uh, the Holocaust. The state of Israel is a comfort, but that doesn't change what happened the Holocaust. And that's not only on a national level, certainly on a personal level. But the blows that a person suffers in life remain. And Churchill famously said that after Dunkirk, he said, wars are not won by evacuation. They're not won by, uh, doesn't change what happened. So if Horiku Pnea, if the Jewish people were so uh, distraught, so what good does it do to say to them, it's only my uncle for them. And that doesn't change what happened. So I'm going to force you here to uh, struggle with these ideas um, because of the fact that uh, human beings uh, find it hard to justify uh, the total hub for whatever reason. So one of the ideas that's advanced 
is that the uh, fact of attending Tzodim, I know Kulchem, Moshe is saying to them as follows, I'm telling you the Ruah. The Tzodim didn't happen yet. Your, uh, the base of English didn't happen yet. You didn't even come there to soil yet. None of that happened yet. But you believe it's going to happen. Because that's why it's so weak with Nehem. You believe that the token is real. So I want you also to believe that I tell you so in my own cook and that my Hashem will get them to also be. It's not only real now, it will always be real. And the law of the Chodim Greece, I share my Lakeva of all our soul. The Rabbana Shalom made a covenant with us, and that covenant is real. And that therefore, I want from you the same measure of faith and of belief that you show regarding the Tochecha, that you should show it regarding Atem Nitzovi Mayom Kulchem as well. So Atem Nitzovi Mayom Kulchem does not come, so to speak, to comfort us for the Tochecha. But it comes as an ancillary point that just as the tochocha you believe happened, will happen, you also have to believe that that means only my own kulcha will also happen. And therefore, that was the secret of Jewish survival throughout all the ages. Is that uh, even though the odds against anything good happening uh, were enormous. Nevertheless, the Jewish people believed that somehow it would happen, that they would be able to survive. And that's true on an individual basis as well. So it's not in the survival of the people that we are comforted. We're comforted in the covenant. We're comforted in the fact that what Moshe said is true. The proof of the matter is true is that you see the Tochecha happen. Chazal expressed that uh, to us uh, in the famous story of Rabbi Akiva. We saw uh, shackles. Uh, while the animal was running over the Temple Mount. And the other rabbis uh, wept and he uh, chuckled, he rejoiced. And they said to him, Boma Tomatsake, what are you left? Uh, based on what came of this age, our, our holy temple is in the plains. Shuoli Yokuba. Wild animals walk where strangers were not allowed to walk. And he answered them with the famous idea that there were two Nebuas. One prophecy was regarding the destruction, and one prophecy is regarding the restoration of the Jewish people. And he said, if the prophecy about the destruction would not have occurred and occurred in every minute detail as the prophecy stated to us hundreds or thousands a year before it happened, then we would have doubt whether the other prophecy is going to happen either. But now that we see that the prophecy of destruction has been fulfilled completely. So then we can rely on the fact that the prophecy of goodness will occur. So 
that idea is here in the Soviet. That's what Moshe is telling you. You believe, or recoup Mayam shall be soil. You believe that you're going to be the 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 Tochukhaola happen. So maybe we don't have to believe it. We know that it happened. So therefore, I tell the Tzavi, my own Kuch, and the British is here too. And we don't look at the British as a comfort for what happened. We don't know why it happened. But we look at the bris as a reality, something that will take place. And therefore, that's why Moshe is able to say to them, you're all here. The Jewish people still exist. That is uh, really uh, the entire uh, mystery of Jewish existence is that the Jewish people are still here. Uh, there, are, uh, there have been many non-Jews over the centuries that have recognized that, that have commented upon it. But it is the ongoing miracle. And the ongoing miracle is that we do the Jewish people, in spite of everything, uh, the Torah still exists, uh, the Jewish way of life still is present. So we live with these two uh, polar ends, so to speak, of prophecy. That of the Tokhocha and that of the Tokhocha. And that's the combination that Moshe tells the Jewish people about. Not, not to mollify what happened to them, but rather to point them in the direction of faith and of the fact that there will be a Jewish people and that our mission is still ahead of us and that we are expected to fulfill it. That is the grid. That is the covenant. Hashem Karasi my that the Lord made with us on Sinai, and which remains legitimate until today. Yeah, I'm going to